Hello, everyone. I didn't even, like, I literally just hit go, and she walks in. <laughs> We're going to do chapter 28 of the Jesus Storybook Bible. This is what we've been reading. If you're just joining us or seeing this, um, this is happens to be my son's favorite uh, rendition of, the ch of a children's version of a Bible, rather. So... Here we go, chapter 28. This is going to be how to pray. So Jesus teaches freckles, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Jesus teaches people about prayer, a paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer from Matthew 6. <clears throat> so in those days, there was a kitty standing in front of the, there we go. In those days, there were some extra super holy people. At least that's what they thought. And they were called Pharisees. And every day they would stand out there in the middle of the street and pray out loud in big extra super holy voices. They were, excuse me, they were really, weren't really, um, they really weren't praying so much as just showing off. They used lots of special words that were so clever no one understood what they meant. People walking by would stop and stare, which might sound rude, except that's exactly what the extra super holy people wanted. They wanted everyone to say, look at them. They're so holy. God must love those people best. Now, you and I both know <clears throat> they were wrong. Well, God doesn't just love holy people, but the people walking by weren't so sure. Perhaps you did have to be really clever or good or important for God to love you. Perhaps you had to know lots of dif difficult, clever words to speak to God. So one day Jesus taught people how to pray. He said, when you pray, don't pray like those extra super holy people kitty. <laughs> they think if they say lots of words, God will hear them. But it's just, but it's not because you're so clever or good or so important that God will listen to you. God listens to you because he loves you. Did you know that God is always listening to you? Did you know that God can hear the quietest whisper deep inside your heart? even before you started saying it. Because God knows exactly when this kitty walks in front of the screen. Because God knows exactly what you need before you ask him, Jesus told them. You see, God just or can't, uh, just can't wait to give you all that you need. He, we'll, we'll read that over, because this kitty, get out of here, is distracting me. <laughs> you see, God just can't wait to give you all that you need. So, so you don't need to use long words or special words. You don't have to speak a, or use a special voice. You just have to talk. So when you pray, pray in your normal voice like you're talking to someone you love very much, like this. Turn that page, Freckles. Watch out. <laughs> Come over here. Come on. This is an example. Hello, Daddy. We want you, or we want to know you and be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again and in our hearts, too. Do what is best, just like you do in heaven. And please do it down here, too. Please give us everything we need today. Forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us. We need you. We don't want to keep running away and hiding from you. Keep us safe from our enemies. You're strong, God. You can do whatever you want. You are in charge now and forever and always. 
we think you're great. Amen. Yes, we do. You see, Jesus was showing people that God would always love them with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So they didn't need to hide anymore or be afraid or ashamed. They could stop running away from God and they could run to him instead. Just as a little child and a little kitty walks in front of this <laughs> camera, just as a little child runs into her daddy's arms. And I think that's the end. Yep. So that's the end. Paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer from Matthew 6. Ah, such a good one. Anyway, we'll see you on chapter 29. Thanks for watching.